But this key can help you identify 69 of the most common native trees found in Alabama. Keys such as this one, which is based on a series of choices between two statements, are called dichotomous keys. This key was designed for use during the growing season, therefore leaf characteristics are the primary features used for identification. So let's go out to the truck and see what samples we've collected from around the house. Okay, so the first thing we want to talk about is leaf types. The first type of leaf we want to talk about is a simple leaf. Just one simple leaf is what it is. Alright. Then you got you got your compound leaf. Okay, this whole thing right here is the leaf. This, these little leaflets make up the entire leaf. Okay. And then you got your twice pinely compound leaf. This whole thing is a leaf. These are the leaflets, okay? They all make up the single leaf. Okay. And one more we can talk about this in the, uh, we don't have a buckeye, but you see the palmately compound leaf. It all starts from one point there, your, your leaflet's coming out. So uh, that's the one more leaf type you might have in your yard. And now we're gonna show you uh, a leaf arrangement. You have alternate and opposite. Tell them what alternate is there, George. This is an example of an alternate leaf. See, they're not on the same side of the leaf. They're not, they're not completely opposite of each other. Okay. They're alternate. But then you have opposite leaves. They're right across from each other, across the stem. Okay. And now, now we're going to talk about uh, some of the leaf shapes. We have uh, a heart-shaped right here in front of us. Heart-shaped. Uh, linear shaped, which would be a willow oak, and that is a linear shape, kind of a long, slender leaf. Spatula shaped, which is a water oak. See how it's kind of spatula shaped? And then you have bell shaped, which would be uh, your southern red oak, and that is your bell shaped right there. It's serrated on the edges, you see that? Yep. We have needle-like leaf shapes, like your pine tree here, and a star shape. That is a, there you see the sweet gum. Now we're going to talk about leaf edges. Uh, Drew, tell us what you got here. The first one we have right here is smooth, so there's no margins on the edge of the leaf right there. Okay. Second one we have is double serrated to the double saw blade right there inside the leaf next one is just a single serrated leaf like that okay and then we have lobed it's common in most oak trees yeah, leaf shape there is a lobe this is a white oak okay see so the, the lobes right there okay and then we have unlobed which would be like a black cherry, like, like this right here. Also, what you can do is you can write in your journal they talked about earlier in the week about all the benefits we get from trees and how uh, trees and animals, uh, you know, there's kind of a symbiotic relationship. What do the trees get from having birds and squirrels around? And what do the squ birds and squirrels get from the trees? So, but find out what your trees are in your backyard and have fun doing it.